I've just been able to reflect on this year and I've just seen like so much growth in myself and I'm finally at the point where like I I'm really happy to be where I am and to be who I am. You shouldn't cry on your birthday because you're sad you're another year older. You should cry and for the first time as I said this year I cried because I was so happy with the year that I'm leaving behind. I feel very very happy to be 25. I do apologize if I look like Rudolph. I've just come inside from being outside in freezing weather. Well, it is freezing. It's below zero degrees. So that's freezing to me. But yeah, I did cry in the shower this morning. I feel like I've cried every year on my birthday for the past few years. I don't know why. I just get emotional and I was emotional in the shower. I just was crying a bit but they were happy tears like for the past few years i feel like they haven't been happy tears they've been tears because i was confused i was like oh my gosh i'm another year older but i don't know where i'm going i still don't think i really felt confident in myself and who i was so that's why i was crying because i was like what am i doing like where am i going in life but i feel like for the first time this year i've cried because i was genuinely like happy um i've been able to like reflect on this year i'm so sorry if i start crying now but genuinely like i'm crying because i'm really happy this is literally cue rudolph okay because my nose goes red when i cry oh my god this is not a good look but yeah like i've just been able to reflect on this year and i've just seen like so much growth in myself and i'm finally at a point where like i I'm really happy to be where I am and to be who I am. I started this year being like, I want adventures. And I've just experienced so many new emotions, so many new feelings, new things. And I feel like I've accomplished so much. And adventure was exactly what I had this year. As a 24 year old, like I did so much more than I thought I would. Eight year old Holly, 12 year old Holly, 18 year old, 20 year old Holly would be really like, proud of where I am right now like I don't think they knew where I was going I've never really known but like I can sit here and say that I am so proud of like who I've become and like where I have come 24 has been honestly incredible and I just don't know how 25 could top that but I really hope it can just like with the small things I've been thinking about that I experienced this year from like making a mistake in my TEDx talk like that will always stick with me because I was able to push through even when I forgot it just like the phone calls I had with Em and Dan when I was in Spain and I needed advice getting closer with math when we were in Thailand caring for someone like that I really liked for the first time and holding hands like just the small things like that I made the most incredible friends like traveling this year was hands down just like adventures left right and center I wasn't afraid to like try new things I feel like in the past I would have almost judged myself for trying things that I maybe wouldn't have done in the past or I would have been like oh my gosh should I do this because like, would my family judge me? What would Em do in this situation? Because I very much not lived in Em's footsteps, but like, I've always thought to myself, you know, would I do this if Em would do this? And if she wouldn't, then maybe I should have. But I very much like owned my decisions and was like, you know what, I'm gonna do this because why not, you know? Beating my marathon time this year, I set a 10K PB in Berlin. Like, I just, come really far with running and i'm just so happy and free around like food and my body but yeah i just feel like 24 has been a really special year for me and like yeah i've had ups and downs but like i've had the most incredible exciting adventures and that is exactly what i wanted and I think it just goes to show if you do put the work in and you want something badly enough, then it will come into your life. Like, I'm not really big on manifestation, but I don't know, I just really wanted something out of this year. And I feel like I got so much more out of it, like more than I ever thought I would. And going back to like me crying every year, every birthday for the past few years, I feel like that's just because I was 
you know, worried about getting older, which I feel like I want to talk about in a whole other video. But you know, like that phrase, like getting older, it's very much synonymous with like aging and like loneliness, being ill and I don't know, getting wrinkles. And there's this huge stereotype in society, especially for females, that you know, you shouldn't get older, like you should preserve your youth. And like, I am still so young, I'm still so full of energy, I have so much I still want to do, and I don't know where I'm gonna go, and who I'm gonna be with, and what's gonna happen, but like, that's just so exciting, I have the second half of my 20s left, like, yes, technically I'm a quarter of a way to 100. Someone could be like, oh my gosh, you're getting old. And it's like, no, I'm not. I feel so young. I feel so fit and healthy and happy. And I'm just so ready to go every year. Obviously time doesn't slow down. Like it goes faster and faster. And that's why you really have to make the most of it. I'm sorry, this chat is all over the place. I didn't really plan this at all. I just wanted to <laughs> share my thoughts. Yes, things are gonna change when you get older but like you don't have to give in to this idea of like aging and this negative societal pressure to never grow old old when I'm not even old and even if you're in your 30s 40s 50s like you shouldn't cry on your birthday because you're sad you're another year older you should cry and for the first time as i said this year i cried because i was so happy with the year that i'm leaving behind i don't know if you're the first time i'm so excited to it sounds so deep but like i don't know why i'm crying so much i am genuinely so happy but like i'm so excited for another year like i'm so ready to go and like to run around the sun again um i don't know that's just how i feel oh i'm so sorry i look like rudolph i thought that today i might cry and again be really sad um but no i just feel so so happy like 25 i still don't believe i've been here for 25 years on this earth like it's just so strange i wouldn't change anything about my 24th year at all so many things happened that i didn't even expect and yeah, I've learned so much. I will continue to learn so much about myself. I don't know what term or word I want to use to describe 2023 that's coming round. Like, as I said at the start of 2022, I said I wanted adventure. That was like my word of the year. And I still want adventures, like adventures on a whole new level. And I am gonna be starting a huge new chapter, which I'm not gonna talk too much about because I really know that I need to contain myself right now. And until I mention everything and share everything, I won't say much. But like, I feel like this is the perfect time to start that new chapter because I'm finally like at peace with who I am and i've never felt so comfortable in myself which is something i never thought i would find but trust me like you can yeah find it i think if you really want it it's a quarter life crisis a thing because i feel like i definitely haven't had a quarter life crisis i mean it might hit me tomorrow i don't know but today i feel really happy and it's like a quarter life is there a word beginning with a c that means like quarter life something i don't know there needs to be something that goes there at the end for me because it's not a crisis i don't feel like i'm having a crisis i feel like it's a quarter life mm, where's beginning with the c i don't know i really don't know what word i need to put there i wrote down some of the things and i shared some of them with you the small little moments that stick out for me and there are loads more i could think of loads but it's the small things that have made my year i feel very very happy to be 25. i'm just like excited to see what next year is gonna bring and i'm really happy i feel this way on my birthday did any of that even make any sense i don't even know this or like this oh, i actually like the side part and look freezing weather oh mum's back and i am here in tears on the floor i think it's like minus something degrees it's currently minus two minus 
six, and it goes down to minus four tomorrow again. Maybe we'll keep it over the top today because I don't often do that. How have I lived for 25 years? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> 